we've done five now or is it six i think we've done six so number seven what's number seven create columns from example flash fill interesting let's show you how it's done in excel let me open something in excel so you understand what flash fill does in excel it's such an excellent tool in excel many people don't even have forgotten about it or don't even know about flash fill so look at these names right these common names we have let's assume i just want the um, surname and then i want the first name So I want the surname and first name. Now, if you're very good in Excel, right, you would do some really fancy formulas. Now, let me just, should I show off my Excel skills? No, I'm not. Okay, well, we, what what is the delimiter? There are two delimiters here. What is what is stopping, well, how do you know the surname and how do you know the first name? Well, the surname has a comma after it and then it has a space. So what you could do, you could search for, um, let's say you could search for comma within this guy, right? So when you search for it, it says it's seven. So if it's seven, that means uh, you have six characters for the surname, right? So if I drag this down a little bit, you see that this is uh, seven, seven, nine, 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 nine. Oh, that's strange, all nine. Okay, and then this is seven, right? Now do you have seven and nine? What kind of names do we have here? Okay, 11 and five, better. <laughs> so seven so what we now need to do is come in here and then say do you know what i want you to extract from the left i want to extract from the left extract names from the left and how many characters are extracting this is seven remember minus one and we close our bracket and then you get his name right but this is too much stress and so what excel did which is so cool he said, just type, just type Cabral. So I'm just going to type Cabral. Then I type a second one, and that will be like an example. I type Fallon, and guess what? Excel has an idea. It says, hey, I know what this guy is doing. And let me give him an example. Okay, I will show him. If he's happy with what he wants, then I, he should just type enter. So I just type enter. Guess what? It just came out. Perfect. So first name, same thing, same trick. Michael, or Michael, oh, sorry, Michael. I spell it the other way. Now, Another trick, a shortcut for a flash fill is actually control E. So I don't need to give it another example. Like it says, tell it, look, do you know what? Use this guy and just fill it, control E. So it did control E and it filled out. So this is Excel. It's quite impressive in Excel, yes? But let's do all these tricks. Let's do the same trick in Power Query. You don't want to do in Excel because Excel means you need to do this every month. In Power Query, it is automated. So just know that Excel is good. But Power Query is better for some things. So I'm going to close this. Don't save. Um, minimize. And let's do this creating columns from example flash fill inside Power Query. So I go to edit and edit queries. And then now I need to go and look for what file should we use. Let's see. See this? Yeah, we could use this guy, right? Yeah, so let's use this. Um, um, I'm borrowing from this. I don't know who, who used this. Can you remember? Well, there's a trick that will tell you, okay, who is using what, so we don't mess things up. I'll show you that trick later, but I'm going to duplicate this just in case. Duplicate, right? And then I'm going to rename this guy. Let me call him uh, Flash Fill. Oh, I can't spell. Flash Fill. Okay, so Flash Fill. I need to fill this just like I did in um, Excel. So how do I do that? Well, there's a wonderful new tool. The adder, I can't remember when this was added, but columns from example, column from example. Column from example is a new tool. So I click on the drop down and I say um, from all columns or from selection. Well, I've already selected this. This is the example I want to use. So say from selection. So what it does is it just gives me this box here. And inside this box, all I need to do is type. So I just start typing, just like Flash Fill. Cabi, Cabral, right? And then I enter, Cab, Cabral, enter. When I enter, just like Flash Fill, if you remember how we did it in Excel, all I need to do is now say, OK. Once I say, OK, see it's filled it out. I can call this the surname, right? Then I can still go back and, and select the same column like this and then um, 
say I need another example from selection and then this time around obviously I'm doing the surname right or the first name so it's a uh, my my call and enter and you can see it's already filled it out you just needed one example and just say okay and then this is the first name now remember this is power I don't really like space so this is power query so when your data grows you never ever need to do this again it's just automated that's why this is more superior than your Excel so if I drag this to the left so let's just put the names close to the surnames everything is recorded and if you look to the right you see that this is being recorded and in fact let's even look at the formula the the M code you know Power Query's language is M so let's have a look at the M code it used to do this automatically. If I click on this, this is the M code up here. No, not, not the M code. Let's click on, where is that? Insert text delimiter. So look at the M code it used. Now if I put on the magnifier, let's just see if you can see that. Uh, let me get my magnifying glass up. So this is the M code. Looks ugly table dot add column rename columns with a hash then text after delimiter each text dot after delimiter name comma space so all that story just see the space just that space now it's similar to how we did it in excel but that's power query then you can actually use this to learn how to write m code okay so that is how we do it